What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new news video. Today what I got for you guys, we're going to be going over the brand new patch notes and update that we just got today. So there's a lot of weapon balance changes, a lot of weapons saw some nerfs. Every single weapon that has been basically meta over the last couple of weeks has saw a nerf. The Izzy Operator is now officially in the store. I'll have a showcasing for those of you guys who are debating on copying that and an extra tip. And then on top of that, we're also going to be talking about some other things here and there coming soon. But one thing I want to remind you of is I uploaded a roadmap for season five. So if you missed that video, all the details, all the information you need to know is going to be available in that video. The operators, the battle pass, the modes, everything you need to know will be in that video and the link will be down in the description. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's jump into it. The first thing is the weapon balance changes and the brand new patch notes so they ended up doing quite a few nerfs quite a few bug fixes but they also ended up doing some weapon balance changes so let's talk about the bug fixes first they said fixed an issue impacting some players receiving battle pass rewards correctly if you had an issue with the battle pass they have fixed that they said fixed an issue where some players couldn't open the battle pass and then fixed an issue where the player couldn't access division rewards in career and rewards in warzone ranked play so these are like in terms of rewards and cosmetics they fixed that now one thing i noticed that they really didn't fix this update are the daily login rewards i went over that's the first thing i did i got on to check and see if i had the daily login rewards and it didn't pop up and even if you go over to the settings usually if you have it it'll say daily login rewards and you can click on that that didn't appear as well so unfortunately this update did not fix anything in regards to the daily login rewards but going on to the warzone weapon balance changes for the ars the lockman 556 ended up seeing a nerf they got the maximum damage has been decreased mid far damage has been increased headshot multiplier decreased the neck multiplier decreased upper torso multiplier decreased and then for the m4 the upper torso multiplier has been decreased the lower torso multiplier has also been decreased which means that got nerfed and then for the tac 56 it got nerfed for the headshot multiplier that got decreased and then the tempest razorback got minimum damage increased and then the limb multipliers increased so that's all a slight buff not too big but it's one of the only buffs that we've seen here in this update but Cronin Squad Full Auto has had a maximum damage decrease, a close damage decrease, a damage step added at mid-range. The minimum damage has decreased and the headshot multiplier has decreased and that basically gave it a full heavy nerf. Most of the weapons that we've seen as meta, especially if you go on TikTok and you see all the weapons that have meta on them, those all ended up getting nerfed, especially the handgun. So the Basilisk, they fixed an issue with the Akimbo Snake Shot Basilisk where his damage profile was higher than intended. So apparently they're saying the damage that it was dealing was a bug the whole time. Then the F-Tac Siege, the maximum damage has been decreased on that as well. And then for the X-13, fixed an issue that caused the X-13's auto damage profile to be higher than intended. So once again, the damage was apparently a glitch. And then the maximum damage has also been decreased. And then for the shotguns, we saw the MX Guardian get a nerf, the maximum damage decreased, the close mid damage decreased, the mid damage decreased, mid far damage, and minimum damage have also been decreased. And then the last thing is for the submachine guns, the ISO 45, they fixed the issue with it causing its upper right leg damage to be lower than intended. And then for the attachments, the ammunition, the KV broadside dragon breath has been also decreased for close to mid range damage. And then the MX Guardians 12 gauge dragon's breath is maximum damage decreased, close mid range damage, mid range damage. All that has been decreased. The maximum damage range and the close mid range damage has been increased. And then the mid damage range decreased. And then the minimum damage range has been decreased. The last and final bug fixes that we have in terms of the patch notes, they said they fixed the issue where snipers with high explosive rounds can be found from the ground loot in ranked play matches. Fixed an issue where after player squads were eliminated, the player left the match and received a prompt to rejoin the match. Fixed an issue where players were unable to have infinite super jump by using a second 10v field upgrade. They fixed an issue where equipping the semi-auto trigger on the MX Guardian shotgun will cause the damage range to reduce severely while fighting AI and DMZ. There's been a lot of DMZ issues, so hopefully they fixed a lot of it. But fixed an issue where the squad loadout crate is missing the in-world icon until it's pinged. And then they fixed an issue that prevented players from being able to use the Gulag token if they lost the Gulag in the previous match. But it's very interesting that they're doing these patch notes, especially Especially weapon balances around a week before a brand new update launches although I feel like the weapons are not the biggest issue here there's still plenty of different bugs plenty of different problems that a lot of people are facing right now that's impacting gameplay such as lag spike there's dev errors going on right now there's just a lot of problems that are impacting the gameplay and instead of focusing on those they ended up doing some weapon balance changes a week before a big update which usually the big updates take care of all these different weapon balances so it's a little bit interesting 
on the direction that they're taking here. I wonder what they're going to be doing with Season 5. But anyways, that's not the only thing we got. We also have the brand new Izzy Operator Bundle. That is going to cost you 2,400 COD points. People have been waiting for it for a long time. I saw people commenting at midnight on my video saying, hey, where the heck is Izzy? I still don't see her in my shop. This is definitely the most popular skin in the game as of right now. But one thing that I want to tell you is instead of purchasing regular COD points, if you plan on getting this Operator, do not purchase regular COD points. I would recommend that you get a Pro Pack. There's a couple of them in the store already pick which one you want but if you are going to spend that 20 bucks at least get a pro pack because it will give you the same amount of cod points that you would have gotten if you spent it on regular cod points so regular cod points will give you 2000 plus a 400 bonus that's going to be 2400 but if you get a pro pack that's the same exact price it'll give you that 2400 cod points you'll also be able to get that operator two weapon blueprints and on top of that you'll have the cod points to purchase izzy so it would just make the most sense to get that pro pack rather than get the regular cod points because that way you can get two operators for the price of one anyways this is the brand new izzy operator she's now available in the store in terms of the next upcoming bundles we got a couple more on the 26th we are going to be receiving our reactive pack for this season and that is going to be the solace it will cost you 2800 cod points he's going to be available with i believe four different weapon blueprints so that's going to be a, a more expensive pack than usual typically they're 2400 but we've now been starting to see 3000 and 2800 so that's going to be the price of that he is going to be reactive after each elimination he will drop a soul or and then you will consume that or your weapon will consume that and then it'll do like a little animation effect and then after that on the 28th we're going to be receiving cyber riot number three that is also going to be a tracer pack and just the photo pretty much explains everything that'll cost 2400 cod points and then finally on july 30th the last bundle that we have for the season and that is going to be klaus's the off season and then that will be the final one and then we're going to have to wait until the brand new season 5 update to bring in brand new bundles and then new cosmetics and things like that for our store but this is everything you need to know about today's update the patch notes that we have i'm very interested in knowing why they nerfed these weapons just a week before this brand new update that's a little bit odd to me i've never seen that before and then also what are they going to do about all these issues right now because these are just a couple of the issues that i've noticed and seen a lot of people talk about is there's an extreme amount of packet loss there's a lot of fps dropping still for players uh, I believe there's also latency variation. There's dev errors, especially for people who are on console. Uh, there's DMZ bots that are one-shotting people somehow. And then there's just a whole other set of issues with claiming rewards. So some people have finished the veteran raid episode four and were trying to get the camo. They completed it and they weren't granted the camo even though they said it was unlocked. Another thing is the prime gaming people who ended up claiming it on the prime gaming website. They said it would be added to the inventory and then you loaded up the game. It wasn't in your inventory. And then there's the daily login rewards same issue that i'm having i'm unable to see it some people are on completely different updates from other people where i can preview my store while i've noticed some people in the comments saying they're not able to preview weapons before making the purchase so there's just a random bunch of things that's going on right now i do hope that the fix comes out for it, at least during the season five update because that's going to be the next update that we have so this upcoming week is going to be straight marketing for season five and then season five is going to take place next Wednesday. And that's when we're going to be receiving the next big update. So obviously, maybe then we're all going to be on the same big update. But anyways, that's all that I got for you guys in today's video. If you found it helpful or informative, consider hitting that subscribe button and let me know what other videos you guys want to see here on the channel. I am going to be making another video, maybe today, going over the Modern Warfare 3 official leaks. We saw some photos that were actually revealed, some artwork and the logo of MW3. So I might make a video and cover that as well. But anyways, it's been your boy Trinzo. Hopefully, I'll be seeing you guys again. Peace.